All right, so it's been a while since I made a video, but I figured it was time to make another one because I got something cool to show y'all. Another lawnmower. This one's a Craftsman LT1000. Um, it says it on the hood. It's a replacement hood, but the body still looks like an LT1000 body. It has a six-speed transmission. It's a Peerless 820, I think it is. It used to have a 42-inch deck. Didn't come with one, not that I really needed it. There's the transmission. It's missing the uh, hitch cover and hitch plate. Well, just the hitch plate where the cover goes over the transmission and there's a hitch there. I don't really need that either, but it's just something to look into possibly. The seat's in fair shape. I mean, there's a pretty bad tear up there. There's a little crack there, but it's not bad. The steering is very loose, but that's I think mainly because of this plate, which is just very loose and very worn out. The brakes work sorta, of, but they lock up badly. I'll need to probably spray that. The linkage is probably shot. Some rust on the hood, it's got a dent. But the main part of the body doesn't look too bad except around there. It's kind of bad. That could just be dirt, maybe not all rust. It used to have a 17 horsepower turbo cooled Briggs Intec. Now it has a 19 and a half horsepower turbo cool Briggs Opposed Twin. The gas tank has a hole in it, but I got a normal one coming. Um, I took the carburetor off to clean it up and I had to take this cover off to take the starter off because those starters on these twins are a pain to take off. It's a very bad design, but other than that, very good engine. Very quiet muffler. Um, it probably didn't have much use on it at all, if any. Because um, I think the guy just put this engine on here and took the old muffler off and put a new one on and it was just probably not ran much. Because the engine on this is in very good shape. The spark plugs have almost no wear. The oil is dark, but not as bad as it could be. So he probably never changed it, but probably just never ran it a whole lot. But this is pretty much the new project for the summer. Um, the yard machines is about done. I just gotta wait for the uh, new belt to come. And when that does, it should be going about 20 or so. And hopefully sometime, eventually this will be going about 30. Now I'm gonna think about lowering that because it's a little bit too tall for going 30 miles per hour. But uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.